Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a journal flip through. I'm finally flipping through this journal. I also have another completed journal that I will need to flip through soon. Here is the current journal I am in. So expect this journal flip through to come and eventually this one as well. But today we're starting with this one because this was the, because this one is the one that came first. This is just a headband from Dollar Tree to use as a journal band. And this is what the cover looks like. I should have a video on this YouTube of this journal, so I will. So I'll link the video of me setting up this journal and maybe put an eye card in the corner of the screen. This is journal number seven. And yeah, this one was the one after the one in my journal funk, as I call it. So I purposely picked a smaller journal to hopefully help with that. The journal is from Dollar Tree as well. And so the pages aren't very great and that's why the pages are kind of falling out. That's why the pages look uneven right now. So hopefully this doesn't completely fall apart as I'm trying to show you guys. But yes, this is what it looks like. These are my stickers. Very exciting. Let's open it up. The, oh, I still haven't put in the end date. This always happens. I completed this journal on April 9th, 2021. I like how I made it all fancy in the back here for the end date. So I used this journal for about like two months. Honestly, it was kind of slow for this journal because this journal is pretty small. Um, I'm not sure what the page count is, but uh, maybe that's fine. But I guess it was still just kind of a continuation of the journal funk, so. So I wasn't moving super quickly through this journal. I might just put some random decorations here to, I don't know, make it look fun. I still have not put in pictures to this part of it. I had a little, like, tea party with my friends, and I was going to put in the pictures here. Which, honestly, I still would like to do. So I need to do that at some point in my life. But I left... I left multiple pages for it and I decorated the pages already. But as you can see with this journal, the pages are falling out and that's what you get for getting a journal at Dollar Tree, but that's fine. But yes, this is not in the best condition. And that is why I, you'll see a lot of washi tape in the center. I just tried to keep it together, but obviously like, it doesn't really work. It only works for the two pages. Valentine's Day. Here we have Valentine's Day. I like how this spread looks. I love how it all goes together with the colors and stuff. And I also love like the take it easy with like the calendar and stuff. I don't know. This is just a fun page. At this time, I was having a lot of fun with punch rugs, which um, you can look it up. It's like just like kind of craft. And so I was thinking of different things to make, like doing the punch rug around a mirror as like a frame for it, or like a wall hanger for my walls. An update, which this is interesting because it's an update about my journaling funk, basically. Squishmallows, I was really um, loving squishmallows at this moment. It snowed, this is how long ago this was. No, it's like summer and it's so hot and humid where I am. <laughs> but um, I guess when this was, it was snowing. Oh, here I have a little reading update. This is just like a picture I printed off Pinterest and I have already had this, so I just glued it in here. But I just talked about my, how I guess what I was reading at the moment and everything about that. Snow day. I read like the actual words. It doesn't even really have to do with the snow day, but okay. But I still love like the decorations of this, even like if there's not much writing, but um, I just love how this red looks like. I love how I did the title. I need to use my white gel pen more. My room plans. I was just kind of trying to think of my room and what to do with it and how to decorate it and stuff. I love trying to like plan my room out on paper. I rarely ever actually um, make much progress with my room in real life, but I love planning it out on paper. YouTube videos, you know, the usual. I love these stickers here I got from Etsy. They are kind of like a mental health stickers because they're kind of nice. Like, this one says strong in my own way. And breathe. And they're really cute. I think it's from Yay Vicka's. Yay Vicka on Etsy. More snow. So exciting. In February. Here I just did this to, like, I guess just have a cute page. And I love the feline cozy. Oh, it's so cute. This spread is me planning out my tiny house and, like, working on layouts and stuff. Because if you don't know, I'm obsessed with tiny houses. And I would love to live in a tiny house. 
Also, I don't know what is wrong with my voice. I guess it's just because it's the morning. So please ignore my voice right now. Thursday. Thursday, I actually like wrote a lot for once in this journal. Paper Gang. Oh, the gold sticker looks different than it does now. Well, a mental breakdown. But then I only wrote on half of the page. I guess I just stopped. Saturday. Like you can see in this journal, again, I'm just not writing as much, but it's like easier with this journal because the pages aren't so big, so it's like fine if I don't write as much. It's not as noticeable. Like when I'm just flipping through it, kind of. Plus, I can just like decorate pages more easily. Like this page is just a random page. Oh, it was a taste test. And I don't know if you guys have heard of this, but like at Starbucks, if you get the matcha with a grande ice matcha with two pumps of chime, and it's actually actually really good so i would recommend testing that like in this journal like the last one there's like a lot of blank pages and like pages that i decorated but then never really wrote in or finished here you can see again where the pages are really falling out and that's why i probably shouldn't use one of these journals again from dollar tree because they don't hold up very well even though this next journal is from dollar tree as well but it held up a lot better this one's a little bigger than this one so i guess this one's just better found squishmallows this is when i found the easter squishmallows collection and it was very exciting and i still love these squishmallows this was interesting on tuesday february 23rd 2021 i listened to the like first audio clip of mars i think i was showed that in school maybe um but yeah that was just like an interesting like historical moment i guess i love using like stickers from brands and restaurants and stuff because here i ate from this place called pokey Doki. so it's cool like having the sticker from there i just removed it from my food bag and then put it in here and i just love when i do that because i feel like it just documents the day i just love it and that's what I mean from taking like little pieces of your day, like maybe parts of receipts or stickers from bags and stuff like that. My friend sent me a package in the mail. So these stickers were from the package and this is something that she sent with it. And inside there's just this butterfly thing. It's a little card. So that's interesting. Oh my god, these pages are completely separated from the book. This book is like dangerous to flip through because I'm gonna break it. This is just the perfect example of the tape not doing anything. This fell all apart. I think this one mostly like came apart because of this card. Because it's heavy. But I made a pocket for it to keep it in. Ooh, this one's fun. We have a full moon on this page. But what I love is this declutter. I feel like it always looks good whenever I actually use my letter stickers because I don't do it that often because obviously I don't have enough letters to do everything in letters. So this is fun. I love like all of the different colored letters. And then these flower stickers I got in a pen pal when I did pen pal at one point. So thank you to the person who put those in my pen pal letter. So yeah, I was just working on decluttering. This piece was just cut out from a magazine. This, the reason that it says my cheeks are so flush is because particularly then, like, my cheeks would get really red. It's like a reaction to being overwhelmed. It's like a, it's like a physical symptom or effect of anxiety. So I wanted to document that so I know, like, when that was and if I need to reference it, I guess. Writing down important things during the time in your journal can be really helpful for later, especially when you're looking back on it, so, yeah. Then here we have March 2021, I put in, this is from a paper gang. It's from an old paper gang too, but it's just a monthly calendar thing. Oh my god, my cat's here. He's right here. That's Buster. He's walking around. Okay, Buster, I need to ignore you. March. Okay. At Buster, this is my cat. And he is sitting on my journal now. I was just talking about how this is from paper gang. And I put it in for March. So then here, March, I set up a page just for the start of the month and I set up goals that I wanted to do and that included posting more on YouTube. I don't know how successful I was with that, but I doubt it because you guys know how I am. Here I have some video ideas. Oh, I did another like drink review, but this is a coffee review. I tried the Starbucks brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso. So honestly, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Okay. 
building a routine. I used to be really good at routines and I would stick to them really well and whatever, but I've kind of not been doing that for a long time now and it sucks. So I was trying to build a routine again. And if you're trying to do this, limit the things you wanna do in your routine to three things per like morning or night so that it, it, you're more likely to stick to it and to do it. This one just came apart completely. Here we have just some patterns, I guess just some fun doodling. These stickers over here from Yay It's Vicka again. I love her Etsy shop. I never even wrote anything in here, but here are the tags for my Squishmallows. Oh wait, no, these are the mini ones. Okay, actually no. These are because my mom got me mini ones and I was happy and excited. I also got a stitch one. Again, you know, I forget. I've said this before and I'll say it again. It's better to write something over nothing. So just like with what I have in here, even though I clearly did not continue or do much, I still learned something about this day, even though there's not much going on. There's just like, it's almost like there's little clues, but this is better than just having a completely blank page. I got these cool pens. Monday, that's fun. Oh, lots of writing there. RuPaul's Drag Race. This is one I started with season eight. This is one I actually started. Now I've finished all of it. All of the regular seasons, all of All Stars, and I've watched the UK season. So that's where I am in life, I guess. More writing. I got some clothes. Spring break. St. Patrick's Day, and also I hung out with my friends and we watched the new movie. Well, it was really new at the time, Orion the Last Dragon. Currently, I finally did one of these spreads again, where it's like what I'm currently liking, what I'm currently doing, whatever. So I did what I'm currently watching, drinking, reading, and playing. So I love this spread. I cut this post-it from Walmart in, in half and put it at the top and bottom. And this was a washi tape I got. I guess I had just gotten it. And it's so pretty. So this is, it's not the same anymore by Rex Orange County. I just put my favorite lines from this onto the spread. And as you can see, I'm really loving this new washi tape. On the road to Denver. So I went to Denver. Why is this page? I guess I, oh, this is a page I put in. I was wondering why this was ripped off, but no. I taped in this page. Some doodles. This is a continuation of the song lyrics too. Paper Gang, that gold Paper Gang sticker again. I think it looks kind of different now. But I just, I'm happy with all the decorations in this journal. That makes me happy. Things I want to do. This was just a day. Love the stickers. Some positive stickers. Tuesday, I like how this spread went. It looks cute. Oh, and it continued, so. Here's a day I actually wrote things. Reading, I was writing about reading because I was really happy about reading and reading a lot and I still am, honestly. So let me know if you ever want me to talk about books because I've been reading a lot of books lately. This part is a little chaotic, but I feel like honestly this tape here kind of unifies it because it's black and white and that was just another washi tape I got. I think I got it at the same time as the other one too. This was from like a mystery little plushy thing I got at Five Below. This, I did a recap, which I've also talked about about this before where instead of like fully out writing out my day just bullet pointing it and like maybe highlighting some things because honestly as you know some days i don't write more of thursdays so whenever thursday was i guess i continued it here this was for my notes app on friday so sometimes i'll write things on my notes app and then turn to them down later yeah i guess i just added an extra page Oh, fun. Steps to cleaning. There's my cat again. I was trying to think about Buster. I was trying to think about cleaning and how I was going to do that. Sometimes writing things down on paper and trying to organize it on paper helps. I don't know. I just love writing things down, obviously. This one, the, pa the paper doesn't have any lines, so it's so close together and the letters are so small. This spread, I actually set up the spread in a video that I recorded, which I could still edit. It's just a journal with me, but I don't know how much you guys would care to see that, so let me know. Okay, this is where I actually found uh, one of the old Squishmall tags, and I put it in here. Easter break. I go to a Catholic school, even though I'm not Catholic, but they have Easter break, so that's a perk of it. I found another Squishmall tag. 
Wednesday crew recap. I did another recap and the bullets are even smaller with this. So you don't have to write a paragraph for each bullet point. You can just jot things down quickly so you don't completely forget the day. My brother turned 21, so we've got some celebration stickers, also from Yates Vicka, because as you have seen from this journal, I love her Etsy shop. My cat was just chewing on an earring. A little checklist for the day, I guess. This is when I had two days left of school. Saturday. I have a receipt for my coffee, I guess. What appears with the continuation of Saturday? It's almost like the cover page to Saturday. So that's more of that. I try to like have repeated elements when it's the same day so I'll know that they go together. Like this doesn't go with it. Here was Easter, Monday. I think this is from Bando. It's a little notepad thing. I love this washi tape. I don't always know when to use it, but as you can see, it's like a stationary washi tape and it has a ton of stationary supplies and I love it. The stickers on this one are kind of random, but whatever. RuPaul's Drag Race. See, this is where, here I like don't hide where I was in what order I watched the seasons. Like I said, I've watched like everything at this point, but that's where I was then. Here's like another example of like putting in pieces throughout my day. This, the sticker was taped onto the bag, so I just threw it into the journal. My brother graduated, which was super exciting. And then that was it. And that was the whole journal. And I even made a little fancy completed date on it. I just said completed on April 9th. 2021 and i like how that looks but yeah that's the whole journal thank you for watching this video finally recorded this we'll see how long it actually takes me to edit and post this but finally did this flip through from a journal completed in april and it's now july but just know we have another flip through to go and another one after that if i finish this anytime soon this is where i am and it's currently so yeah, again, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one.